four, three, two, one. T minus four minutes and counting. Round pyros enabled. T minus three minutes and counting. The carrying Atlas LO2. Atlas tanks to flight pressure. 250. FTS internal. Flight termination system on the vehicle. Now on internal power. T minus two minutes and counting. Vehicle yeah, internal. One fifty five. Launch sequencer start. One fifty. Securing Centaur LH two. Securing Centaur L O two. One forty. Launch enabled. Ground computer. Now calling the count. Uh, Calling the in control of the uh, countdown. Orcas is armed. FCS count started. T minus one minute and counting. Stable at step three. T minus 30 seconds and counting. Then valve's locked. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Go for main engine start. 3, 2, one zero and ignition and liftoff of the Atlas V with the Solar Dynamics Observatory, learning why our star is changing our lives. Good steady state operating levels at 100% thrust on the Marty 180. Beautiful dynamic disturbance it looks like. Forty seconds. Everything looking good. Operating pressures are normal. Coming up on going into closed loop control on Atlas PU. And we 
try to close loop control on the Atlas propellant utilization system. Engine operating pressures continue to look good. Flight control data is smooth, as expected for this portion of atmospheric flight. Coming up on Mach 1. And the vehicle is now supersonic. Approaching max dynamic pressure. Everything is looking good. And we are hitting max Q. PU is controlling as expected, engine operating as expected. Everything looking good. And the vehicle continues right down the center of the range track. We are 12 miles in altitude, 11 miles down range traveling at 2,300 miles per hour. Our dialysis propulsion and hydraulic securing. And vehicle Magic. has transitioned to 95% thrust as expected. The easy system securing. is continuing to control as expected. And we are now at 50% of our liftoff weight. Engine continues to operate as expected at 95% thrust. Center pneumatics, LC. Yeah, approaching our center pneumatics. Our center pneumatic. Close the steering phase. We, and we have entered that. And we fired the power valve, activating or pressurizing the reaction control system on Centaur. Booster can just perform nominally. Can we see normal PU control? Flight control parameters are nice and smooth. Vehicle's accelerating at 3.6 Gs. We're now 38 miles in altitude, 83 miles downrange, traveling at 6,600 miles per hour. Flight control parameters look good. Vehicle now weighs 25% of its liftoff weight. And we've entered our constant 5G throttling phase. The RD-180 is compensating to maintain 5Gs of acceleration as expected. We have started boost phase chill down. Introducing fuel to the RL-10 engine to condition it for operation. Fifty-six. So we're 66 miles in altitude, 195 miles downrange, at 11,300 11, miles per hour. We have cut off. Everything looking good. Ignition, full thrust. RL-10 is up and running normally. Coming up on fairing jet. And we have jettisoned the fairing right on time. Everything looking good. We are seeing normal steady state operating levels on Centaur. Good startup transient. And we've started thermal conditioning firings on the RCS thrusters. Centaur PU is in this fixed angle position as expected. Engine operating parameters did respond to the change in mixture ratio. Vehicle continues right down the center of the range track. Access control. Roger. We are now 108 miles in altitude, 407 miles downrange, traveling at 11,600 miles per hour. We are seeing expected activity on the reaction control system. Vehicle's accelerating nice and smooth. Engine operating levels look good. Continuing our open loop phase and center PU. And we're now in closed loop control on center PU. And engine parameters are 
changing as expected. Now operating on the fuel rich stop. This is the expected behavior at this time in flight. Reaction control system is as expected. Data now coming through the Antigua Island tracking station. Everything looking good. And we've begun our 104 degree roll to mitigate solar heating on VSDO spacecraft. Vehicle is controlling as expected. <laughs> 